Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Kansas City Royals and the Texas Rangers. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Colby Allard gets the starting assignment for the Rangers in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And now here is Whit Merrifield, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for Kansas City, the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. And now pitch on the way. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there's one down now. Chance now for a look at the Royals starting lineup. Dero daytime road game for him. What you got? Well Matt the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runners stranded. So now Carlos Santana as he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Now the 0 1. Hey that's just a great mix of pitches right there and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in, and he puts it on the ground to second. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Royals go down one, two, three, and now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. Tell me what you know Mike Miner, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Here's the 0 1 pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Well, the last thing you want to do is give the home team an unearned base in the first inning. Now they've got a speedster on the bag with no outs and a good chance to score early in this game. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa as he grounds one briskly to short. The second for one to Santana to get the double play. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep but I'm telling you a good hit and run taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. 
the 0-1 delivery. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Now the pitch. On the ground to the right side. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired and ending in the books no score here on the show. Second inning set to go and up next the former World Series hero Salvador Perez. First offering. Skied into very shallow right. Gallo has it, and it's a quick out number one. That is it. The right so here's how the Rangers are positioned defensively. And we get to watch one of the best right fielders in the game today. He brought home gold last year. We know right fielder profiles as a huge offensive producer. But this guy covers a ton of ground all the way to the foul line with a strong throwing arm. Hunter Dozier digging in now. Breaking ball there as that's fouled away for the first strike. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. Yeah he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level but you know what they didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has nice pick. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Boy so far early into this one this guy's pitching really well and I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick keeping the ball down in the zone and if you take a look at this guy so far early on a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Now a swing and a miss he struck him out and it's two up two down to start the second. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well and that one was right there. To the plate now Kelvin Gutierrez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Popped him up. Low has room in foul territory, and he's got it for the final out of the frame. KC down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Riding in is Adolis Garcia. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First pitch on its way. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Merrifield has a play, makes the play one away. Not a good. Hey guys, take a look at how Kansas City sets up on D. And I'd like to focus on Salvador Perez, the man who dons the tools of ignorance behind the dish. He's a clubhouse leader. He's one of the best pitch framers in the game. He's like a soft blanket back there for this pitching staff. Here's Joey Gallo now. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Dozier is under this one. Two gone.
batting six, the second baseman. Base is empty, two away, and that means Nick Solak will dig in. First delivery to him. And a slider that time as this ball's hammered to deep left field. And that is the definition of a mistake pitch there as this ball is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to left as the Rangers strike first. It's one to nothing. Yeah, I'm not at all surprised that he swung for the fences. With the bases empty and two out, that's the time to take your shot and go for the long ball. He waited on a pitch he liked and absolutely exploded on it for a solo shot. That's what he does. At the plate now, Eli White. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. They'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. We've played two. It's now 1-0 Texas. In is Jorge Soler. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading he off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired Jorge. in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ball one. Now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Here he comes again, one, two. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. One out, base is empty, and that means batting next will be the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. First offering. A ball and no strikes. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. The 1-1. One, one. Bases are empty, one man out. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see and they end up offering it pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. At the plate, Nicky Lopez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. And this will be fouled away. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Another one sent foul. The 0 2 once more. Popped up. And no one will get this one. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. We've got ourselves an awesome battle going on right here. Bottom line, the guy who's going to win this situation is the guy who executes. The two, two. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at-bat. Hit on the ground out to short. There's Connor Falefa. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Royals go down one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Brock Holt. Now the first pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Stepping in now, Jose Trevino. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first is in time for the first out. The left fielder, number five. That's the Back to the top of the order now, and into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. He'll get it into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given a chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Standing in now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw gets him to them. Now back, first baseman. Next up, Nate Lowe grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB now. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. And it's fouled away. 
on 0 2 here. He doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. In now, Adolis Garcia. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Well, you know, in today's game, D-Row, pitches are being taught high velocity, go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put-away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep into count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready here's the 0 1. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Here comes the nothing and two pitch swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. So it's two runs on four base hits no errors and a couple of men left on three innings complete the Rangers lead it three to nothing. Yeah it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The second baseman with Merrick. Now here it comes. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Count now a ball and a strike. Trying to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Trevino is there, and he has it for the out. The batter, the first baseman. Stepping up is Carlos Santana. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. No runs, no hits, one error so far for Kansas City. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Into the windup, and here comes the 0 2 pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. And that'll bring up the left handed up hitting Andrew board. Benintendi. Two oh, away in the inning. And Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound. And it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. In no, tight at 93, that. ball one. The 1-0. Is swung on and missed, strike one. Hey, make no mistake about it, this lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. One and two now as that one's fouled off.
Into the windup and the pitch. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. KC down in order. Still down 3-0. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And Here set go. to go is the second baseman, Nick the Solak. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it. But keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Solo shot here to left, his second home run of the game as the Rangers have opened it up now 4 0. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. So now to the plate, Eli White. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. White is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. Popped him up. Merrifield over to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Third baseman number 16, Brock Holt. So now to the plate, Brock Holt. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. As it's grounded sharply to first. Oh, a diving stop by Santana. In time. Outstanding play over there at first. That ball was headed for the hole, but he pulled it in on a dive. Then great presence of mind to take it himself for the out. At the plate now, Jose Trevino. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Scooped up. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We're through four. It's now 4 nothing in favor of the Rangers. And up steps Salvador Perez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ball one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. 4, 5, and 6 coming up this part of the lineup. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 1 and 2 is the changeup had him out in front there. Into the windup and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Garcia is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. Now batting the right fielder, Hunter Dozier. 
No one on with one down and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. Here's the first pitch to him. And he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Lifted down the line in left. Chasing after it is Calhoun. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Up next to the Royals. The third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. So stepping in is Kelvin Gutierrez. Popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll toss he's this out. one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again, and the inning is over. Royals go down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and into bat next former Will Dodger Rangers. minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun. First pitch on its way. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo shot down the line in right, and the Rangers have made this a 5 nothing ball game. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone, or that total might continue to rise. Into the box, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Wind up and the 0 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Bounce to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next to the Rangers, the first baseman. So next to hit is Nate Lowe. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First delivery to him. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. Hammers it to deep right field. Dozier moving back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now, now here comes the Royal Skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound. And that'll be all now for Mike Miner. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Number 54 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 54. At the plate, Adolis Garcia. As he'll ground this one fouled off to the left side. A hit in two tries for him so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1.
Low leads off second with one gone in the inning. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. This opportunity is once in the lifetime. So a man at second here with two away. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. First offering. Comes set and the 0 1. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0 and 2 now. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Ripped on the ground to first, and a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. The tag from Perez won't get him safe at the plate. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, D wrote big, big, and I mean big, two hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. That'll bring in Nick Solak. Oh, and he gets a fastball up in the zone, and he hammers it out to deep left field. And this baby is gone. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. His third home run of the ball game as they've widened this lead to eight now. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in the baseball game. Now back. The Into the box Eli. now, Eli White. White. And that one yanked just foul. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a flare down the line. Benintendi coming up, but he won't get there. It falls in. The third baseman, number 16. Oh. Here's Brock Holt now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Oh and one count and the pitch. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and two. I know he's been struggling early but that pitch right there well executed change up if he can mix that in maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. Looking to put him away here's the 0 2. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches but the count will remain at 0 and 2. He got a mistake right there but missed it can't foul that pitch off in a big spot 0 2 count heater caught too much of the zone. Nothing in two count and the pitch.
Again, he sends it out of play. The next 0 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Rangers lead this one eight to nothing. So here's the Royals DH. Jorge Soler. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Jorge Soler. Now here it comes. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Fouled off. Again, a one two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Just hung in there on that one. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. In now, Michael Taylor. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1 0. He may be down 2 and 0 after those first two pitches in this AB but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did not miss by a whole lot so it's not like he's all over the place. Now here's the pitch. Line towards center field, and the Royals are in the hit column. Hey, one of the things that makes it so tough to pitch is you consistently have to make good pitches. Even on 2 and 0, oh, you just can't lay one right down the middle. Yeah, I'm sure he wanted to nip a corner right there, but hats off challenging 2 0 -oh in a fastball count. He came and got some. Standing in now, Nicky Lopez. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. 
hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Softly hit toward the hole. There's one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Texas is out in front, eight to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and next to hit is the catcher, Jose Trevino. The catcher, Jose Trevino. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Taylor is there. One away. The left fielder, number five, Willie Calhoun. So here is Willie Calhoun. He's two for three and looking for more here. Yeah, he absolutely torched a fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Eight runs, 11 hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Fouled away. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy nine. about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. So now to the plate, Isaiah kiner Falefa. Softly hit down the line to third. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Rangers set down in order as the lead holds at eight to nothing. With Merrifield next to bat. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Down and away, ball one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. A 2 and 1 count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power, you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, they might leak one a little bit inside and this is where that guy would jump on it. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Tried to back door him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. Now the payoff pitch home. Full count still.
And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base. So we'll see if they can get something going here. Here's Carlos Santana now. No hits to this point. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Late that time for a strike. Merrifield on at first nobody out swing and a miss out in front of a changeup something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field but he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Well he hit that ball pretty well but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Into the box Andrew Benintendi popped up and this is going to wind up a foul ball. 0 for 2 for him to this point. a ball and a strike he didn't get him to offer at that pitch right there but that big 12 to 6 curveball is definitely part of the reason he's having such good success in this one one and two now trying to send him packing for the second time and here's one that barely misses off the inside corner two and two popped him up Kiner Falefa is calling for it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Right side, fair ball down the line. Merrifield ignores his coach he's chugging for home the tag and he's in there as they inch back here but there's still a ways to go he was on cruise control the entire game but he gets brought back to reality here an RBI double gets them on the board and now that they've broken the dam we'll see if they can generate some more runs going forward. And that brings in Hunter Dozier as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Royals settle for just the one. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Rangers eight and the Royals one. Last half of the seventh here, and here comes the first baseman, Nate Lowe. The first baseman. Yeah. 
And the pitch. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Here's the 0 and 2. This is pulled into right. Dozier is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now to bat, Adolis Garcia. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First offering. And ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Now that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. Benintendi is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Right number 13, Joey Gallo. Now to the plate, here is Joey Gallo. Singled homer run in his last time up. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 1. And the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Uh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now one and two. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath, take a step out of the box, and know you got a few to play with. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. And it remains an eight to one ball game. John King has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Kelvin Gutierrez. Here's the first pitch to him. Good pitch there, had him a little out in front. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Behind 0 2 now. Change up called strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call one away. So with his day fully over now you get a look at the pitching line for the okay. Rangers starter. Great day's good. work any way Four you days. look at it. So Matty V really a solid performance seven strong innings pitched in line for the win needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out at the plate Jorge Soler and there's a base hit on the line. You know, D. Rowe, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. There's he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. From the stretch. Got him reaching there. Strike two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. 
the battle. Next up is Nicky Lopez. He was Nicky. a double play victim last Lopez. time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And it's fouled away. The 0 1 on its way. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Soler is off of first with two away. Grounded down the third baseline. Foul. Another 1 2 delivery. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Holt is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. One left for Kansas City. It's still an 8 to 1 ball game. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that means Nick Solak will dig in. And that home run he hit his last time up, he isn't going to forget about anytime soon. He absolutely destroyed a fastball. Into the corner and slicing foul. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Up next, Eli White singled last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. One out, nobody on. Popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Interesting pitch selection right there. In off the plate. Not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting him get on first base free of charge. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. High and deep down the left field line. His heart sank right there when that ball met the bat, but just had him out front just enough to give him another shot at potentially putting him away. Now another 0-2. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Stepping in now, Brock Holt. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The windup and the 0-1. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul.
swing and a miss and that's out number three. Rangers set down in order and it remains an eight to one ball game. And now Whit Merrifield starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats you can't mill in your chances as a professional. First pitch on its way. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing in one. A great job of changing speeds there it's 0 and 2. Really deceptive change up right there. It died right before the plate and he was left reaching for air. Swung on in the dirt strike three. The throw down to first one away. Now at the plate Carlos Santana it could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the first pitch. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. The 1 0 home. Hit in the air out to left field. Calhoun is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now batting left fielder Andrew Benintendi. Next to stand in is Andrew Benintendi. He flew out in his last AB. First pitch of the AB on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Boy, did these guys come out swinging the bat today, but their pitching and defense was pretty good, too. Allowing just one run, they never gave the other team a chance in this one. 8 to 1 is the final score this afternoon. The Rangers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Colby Allard is credited with the win. Mike Miner permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Man on third, on second, on third. I'm gonna have to clean it up. I done went yard, they ball gone. I alien beat it up. Man, contract, they want me back. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers, eight runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left three men on base. For Kansas City, one run on three hits. One error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and ten minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. 
And we remind you to please drive home safely.